Going to school is a joy for many children as they are able to interact with their friends whilst being afforded the opportunity to gain a free education. Unfortunately, the financial constraints of many families may be a contributing factor affecting hundreds of children from attending school. Today, Headline News visited the village of Potential West Bank Damarara. Statistics show that the community has an unusually high truancy rate. One villager who didn't want to appear on camera expressed her deep concerns about the trend. I just be selling here every day and I just be seeing what's going on. And, and my standard is be a lot every morning. And when they see I come in, they just move over to the other stand. But holy, that is be liming, troubling people, especially the school girls and them have nothing to do. That is be doing all day, every day. What are the ages of these children? Are it male and female or mostly no, male? Mo mostly male. And they like from um, 11, 12, go on. It didn't, they didn't, none of them reach 18. It was quite evident that the children were absconding from school. It was 10 a.m. and we saw several teenagers loitering around the community. This prompted me to inquire why they were not in school. According to one youth, who's a student of the potential secondary school, he was quick to note that it was career day at school and not much work would be done in school. However, his other friends quickly spoke of their parents' inability to provide funds for them to attend school regularly. Well, some of the parents them that we could say kind of little poor that who we know, but some of the rest are no reason the parents going to work and leave them home and them stuff. Potential was once a flourishing village. The nearby Will Sugar Estate has provided employment for many residents. But things became even more difficult for some residents after the estate shuttered and thousands of sugar workers lost their jobs. Some of the villagers claim that this closure is a contributing factor to truancy. As Headline News further explored the village, we saw children skipping school. We spoke to a family whose four children were at home. The grandparents of the young children explained why the children were not at school. Sometimes the mother does have difficulty sending to school because sometimes she don't have things to put in the kit. And we got a big granddaughter there, sometimes the passage is not there. Some days she goes, some days because she's got in reading. Some days I like today, there was no passage, she at home. London desperately wants her grandchildren to attend school, but the funds are not always available. Before leaving to go to work, the grandfather showed us all the money in his possession at the time, which was $320. Today is supposed to be his payday. Nonetheless, he told us how badly he hopes he gets paid today. That's right. This one, this, then he got to the nursery, and then he got to the um, primary school out there, and Sarah got to really new school on Kangal and... Um, and the baby she got on um, daycare. The grandparents are the caregivers of the children. The two, as well as the mother, are all employed. But since the closure of the Will Sugar Estate, life for the children's father has changed, and he can no longer provide for his kids. When the estate was working, things used to be smooth and nice. Because everybody get work, and then work and provide things to the family and so. But God, these children father used to work at the estate, he used to check in and he used to look them. But he ain't working no more. Are you the only one in this community that may have these challenges? No, 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 no. You're not nobody in this community. But you know, not everybody will come forward, you know, to tell people what really going on with them. But me now, I just speak. According to a release from the Education Ministry, numerous studies showed links between academic performance and consistent attendance, which is so critical for the quality of a child's education. Research suggests that children who are frequently absent from school are more likely to be involved or become a victim of crime and antisocial behavior, the type of behavior that is shockingly on the rise, not just in this neighborhood, but nationwide. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.